in the last lecture we created the action method for login and in here we were checking the email of the username that were coming in and also the password and it, if it was successful we want to create a token and return the response back so in this lecture we will work on the token functionality and create a token for this user along with the roles that this user has as claims so for that we would need to create a repository method because it's not good practice to have everything inside our controller method the controller should be lean and the functionality to create a token should belong to repositories so let's open solution explorer and in here let's expand on repositories and create a new interface so i'll select the interface and i will call this the i token repository dot cs and let's define the method that we need so let's call this method create token because that is what it is exactly doing it is creating a jwt token so let's call it create jwt token and to that it will need the user information so the type of user that we have is identity user and this comes from Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity and let's give the user a name and after that it needs the roles for this user as well and that will be a list of string called roles so we have the definition when this method is executed as a response it will give us a token which will be a string so let's have the return type of this method as a string and now it's time to create the implementation for this so inside repositories let's create a new class so add a new class and call this the token repository dot cs the token repository is the implementation to the i token repository so it inherits from that let's click control dot and implement the interface you will have the method over here the structure so now it's time to work on the implementation of how we can use uh, the jwt packages to create a token for ourselves so first of all we will create some claims for this token and we will use those claims later on so create claims from the roles and other information so i'll just keep it as create claims so i'll create a list of claims so variable claims is equal to new list of claim this comes from system.security.claims open and close that and now i will add to these claims so first of all let's say claims.add and i want to add the email so claim types dot email and the value for this one actually to the add method we'll have to supply a new claim and inside that we will use the uh, we will use this one which will be the string type and the string value so we can say now the type of the claim is claim types dot email and the value for this is coming from the identity user object so user dot email we will have another bracket and that will be the first claim then we will also add the roles coming inside the list as claims as well so we will create a for each loop so for each of the role that we have inside the roles collection we want to add to claims so claims dot add method it needs a new claim and the type for this one will be role so claim types dot role and the value for this one will be the role that we are iterating on so save that and by the end of these three statements we will have in the claims collection we will have the email claim and also the roles for these claims
So we have now populated claims. Now let's work on the token. And for that, we will need some additional information. So let's work on a, the key. So I will create a new variable called key is equal to new symmetric symmetric security key and then we will encode this and get the information from the app settings.json so we'll use encoding which comes from system.txt so press control dot and say system.txt dot utf8 dot get bytes and the information has to come from uh, the app settings.json file and to get stuff from app settings.json file we have to use i configuration and we to inject it inside this class so let's create a constructor for this class and inject the the i configuration press control dot and create an assign field using the i configuration we can access the app settings and we can get the result from there so we'll use configuration dot or we can use the square brackets and inside string we can say jwt colon which is the object colon the property of this one is the key so we really want to get the key from the JWT object inside the app settings. So if I open Solution Explorer and open app settings, we have an object called JWT and it has a key value pair with the name of key. So make sure if you're accessing that you have to have the same value names as we are accessing over here inside the token repository. So make sure the name of the objects and the keys match. After that, I will use this create to create the new credentials. So variable credentials is equal to new sign in credentials. And to that, I will supply the key that I created in the above line and use an algorithm, which is security algorithms dot uh, and will use the HMAC SHA-256 close that statement so we have the credentials that we got from the key over here we'll use the credentials inside creating the token so now it's time to create this new token so variable token is equal to new jwt security token and this takes a few attributes so if I expand on this, we can supply a few information over here, like the issuer, audience and other stuff. So let's provide with the issuer first and we'll get the issuer from app settings again. So use configuration, square brackets inside double quotes, we'll say JWT colon issuer. And similarly, we'll get the audience. So configuration, square brackets, JWT colon audience and make sure the the key values that you have over here are exactly what you're using to access over here after that we can supply the claims so we have the claims that we created over here so we can directly use the claims and after that we need to supply the expires property so expires is basically uh, a value that is you know valid for the token and in how many minutes or seconds or hours this key or this token would expire so i can add a time so let's say date time dot now dot add minutes and let's say we are adding 15 minutes to it so after 15 minutes this token basically expires and finally, we have the uh, the sign in credentials property and we have the sign in credentials over here that we created. So we can just supply that as well. Format the document. So we have created the token. It's basically now time to use this token to write it as a string. So I will say return and return a new JWT security handler and use this class and create a new instance of this class to write a token for me 
using the security token that I have over here. So I will close this and this basically instantiates the new JWT security token handler uses the method write token that it exposes and it takes the token and writes the token for us. So this now returns the string token that we want to use inside the controller. In the next lecture, let's come back and inject this inside the auth controller or inside the application and then use it inside the auth controller.